No, oh, is this thing on? <laughs> Whoops a daisy. Oh man, where do I begin? Hey, hi. Sorry I've been gone for so long. I always forget to update this goddamn thing because got stuff to do. Let's see. Um, first off, thank you for watching this video. Thanks for keeping an eye on me. Uh, lots of stuff's been going on lately. I mean, I should be on here a lot more often than I am, but I mean, I don't really need money. I got tons of money. Uh, I spent a lot of time instructing women in professional wrestling self-defense down at a health club. Uh, I just kind of sit around and laugh at stuff. It's a pretty good life. When you've done as much shit as I have, you don't really look for other stuff to do. Speaking of which, in the very near future, keep your eyes out because something great is happening. There is a plan to bring my life to you. There's going to be an animated series or a comic book or something that tell the tale of Maestro Awesome and Kick-Ass. My training in Japan the acquiring of the belts, the Pan Galactic Tag Team Championship belts with myself and Hamburger Lynn and all of the things that came after that. Hell, uh, meeting Captain Angry USA, the Devastator. There's so much. You're not even going to believe it. But that's in the future. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I just wanted to kind of say hey to everybody today. Uh, I had a whole lot of fun just now. Uh, it's I'm, I'm in Georgia and outside there's a shitload of snow. So I was walking around the neighborhood having fun and there's this fucking drug dealer douchebag out there. So what did I do? <laughs> I made the best of a situation. There's this huge fucking hill and I see this guy. He's a real piece of shit. Just never fucking learns. Trying to sell cocaine and just all kinds of terrible bullshit. And fucking filthy streets. Filthy and up the streets. So what do I do? I run up behind him. And he doesn't even hear it. And I fucking leap into a running bulldog and fuck down this fucking hill. So I've got him in this bulldog and we're sliding down this big ass hill. And I'm just yelling, ah! And he's like, ah! And we keep fucking sliding and yelling. And God, it was the most fun I've had in I don't know how long. And I got some money out of it. I cleaned up the street. So, hey, it's a good fucking deal. Um... So, if you're out in Georgia, be careful out there. A lot of people drive like assholes because they don't know what the fuck snow is. <sighs> but anyway, another thing I wanted to do was just kind of uh, give you some of my tips on how to have a more awesome life. Because a lot of people ask me how to be awesome, so I'm going to tell you. Number one, get some exercise. Once a week or so, go walking. Do as much as you can, but don't burn yourself out. Because, like, you'll just give up altogether if you just keep pushing and, you know, you think you're going to do it. So just find your limit, push past it. Push yourself past the limit once in a while until you get the hang of it. And my old wrestling school is called a Hidden Pro Wrestling Dojo. It's in Akihabara, Japan. It's, I can't exactly tell you where it is because it's hidden. But we had uh, <laughs> our treadmills. <laughs> were lined up in this circle around a fucking shark tank. <laughs> And uh, our trainer, Fishy, he would set it on this really high speed on an incline. And if we didn't run, we would fall into this fucking shark tank and they would try to eat us. That's what I call significant motivation. You don't have to go that hard, but that's up to you. Tip number two. Try to generally be nice to people. There's already enough fucking assholes in the world as it is. But if somebody tries to punch you, well then, powerbomb them into the nearest painful object, of course. My friend Straight Edgy Urakawa, guy I used to train with, uh, we uh, wrestle in an organization called Bad News. Bad ass, degenerates, nefarious, excellent wrestling society. Bad News. He could powerbomb people so hard that like a fucking, you remember the Jet Li movies where people would get thrown down and he'd punch the ground and the fucking smoke would come up? Straight Edgy would do that to everybody. Oh man, it was so good. So if somebody's acting like a dickhole, give them a chance. Or don't give them a chance. But just don't beat up fucking innocent strangers, you dickhole. Don't be that guy. Be a good person. Be friendly. But if they're not friendly, then you fucking powerbomb them. Number three. Not everybody is going to like your favorite football team. Not everybody is going to like your favorite wrestler. Or your favorite god. Or your favorite food. You know what? Let people have their fucking opinions, okay? And don't take it personally when people don't agree with you. Live and let live. Don't be a dickhole. 
Um, number four. If you find yourself in an unknown galaxy and a female Yautja wants to have her way with you, just let her do it. Trust me. If you don't know what a Yautja is, Google is your friend. Y-A-U-T-J-A. Look it up. Trust me on this one. I speak from experience. Number five, last one. Pay attention to the things that you think kicks ass. And don't pay attention to the stuff that you think sucks. I'm not here to tell you to ignore your problems. But don't spend your precious free time in this fucking world looking for things that are wrong with the world that you can't fix. There's always so much we can do. Work with what you got, you know? Spend your time looking at people who are having fun. Who've done great things. I mean, hell. Myself and Hamburger Lynn... We're the fucking pan-galactic tag team champions. We have the belts. We wrestled aliens for years. And if our dumbasses can do that, you can fucking do anything. Remember that. In the meantime, go to Akihabara, Japan and have fun. You see this jacket? I got this the last time I was over there. Hold on. You see this? This is Japanese. I'm going to translate because I'm pretty sure you don't speak Japanese. Go read Japanese. Akibake means child of Akihabara. It's where my heart is and always will be. So go check out Akihabara. Watch some anime. Drink some iced coffee. Eat some pizza. Do some push-ups. Get some fucking exercise. Have some fun. Live a good life. And beat up drug dealers. Unless they sell pot, I guess. Because that shit just smells like fucking onions. But I mean, it ain't ruining anybody's life. But that's up to you. I just stick to people who sell hard drugs. Because they're pieces of shit in my opinion. Have a wonderful night.